From fire tornadoes to hordes of deadly locusts, here are 11 of the most dangerous natural phenomena. Number 11. Volcanic lightning. Imagine two of the deadliest natural phenomena working together. As if being scorched alive by lava while being suffocated by volcanic ash was not bad enough already, you can also get struck by lightning at the same time. This is a phenomenon known as volcanic lightning, which can happen when a volcano erupts. While most volcanic eruptions are generally slow and drawn out, with lava flowing slowly down the slope of the volcano and billows of ash spewing gently into the sky, volcanic eruptions can also be sudden and extremely deadly. What happens during a volatile explosion is a massive shift in air temperature caused by molten lava and an eruption of super hot ash. All of this super heat causes friction, kind of like how rubbing a balloon on your head causes your hair to stand on end. The same theory works to explain volcanic lightning. All the heat in the air causes friction, and that causes sparks of electricity. You're highly unlikely to be struck by one of these bolts, considering you should probably not be anywhere near a volcano as it is erupting. But if you were, well, it would be seriously dangerous. Number 10. Fire Tornadoes While we're mixing up natural disasters, how about a firestorm and a tornado twisted into one deadly cyclone of hellfire? These are one of nature's most impressive phenomena. Witnessing a full-sized fire tornado is like witnessing an angry genie raging out of control burning everything in sight and leaving absolute devastation in its wake. And while fire tornadoes are not super common, they do happen, and I guarantee you do not want to be in the centre of one. Basically, a fire tornado, otherwise known as a fire whirl or a fire devil, forms whenever there is a lot of flame and a lot of wind. They're most often found during wildfires, but can even be found when a house goes up in flames. If the wind is strong enough, it can pick up the fire and begin to swirl it around like a cyclone of horrible inferno. These don't come from a level 100 pyromaniac, but merely a unique situation where fire can be swept up in a great gust and blown about indiscriminately, spreading fire from house to house or tree to tree. Imagine such a hot wind that it scorches the flesh right off your bones. And now for number 9, but first be sure to subscribe if you're new here and join us. And let me know if you've ever experienced any of these phenomena. Number 9. Ice Spikes Ice spikes are not the most dangerous natural phenomena to occur on our planet, but I certainly would not want to fall on a bed of jagged ice daggers. This natural occurrence happens generally in high altitude areas where the environment is dry and cold, most famously in the Atacama Desert of Chile. And while I call them ice spikes, the scientific name for these dangerous formations is penitentes. They are called this because of their uncanny resemblance to repentant people at prayer, all bent in the direction of the sun. Chances of dying in one of these ice spike fields are pretty low. I mean, the ice spikes are only formed from snow, dry air, and a bit of wind. Still, some are razor sharp and only a few inches above the ground, meaning that if you were to fall, you might find yourself stabbed by about two dozen icy blades. I don't know about you, but I sure would feel like a sucker if I met my end that way. What would they even write on my tombstone? Number 8. Locusts when people think about natural phenomena, they're always thinking about volcanoes and hurricanes, landslides and avalanches. But what about the insect scourge that has been killing people for centuries? You know, the thing that you never hear about on the news? Mosquitoes have killed more people than anything else ever in the history of the world. Roughly 50 billion lives since humankind started wandering around. I'm talking about you, malaria. But today I want to talk about locusts a bizarre natural plague of insects that threatens to plunge the world into darkness. A bit dramatic for sure, but true nonetheless. Locusts decimate crops. They fly into fields like an army of demons and completely destroy crops. In fact, locust swarms have been spotted recently in Kenya that spanned an area bigger than Luxembourg. Just picture that for a minute. A whole swarm of bugs just as big as an entire country blasting across the desert, destroying food as they go. There are currently 25 million people in danger of losing food because of locusts. This is one of those non-commercialized natural phenomena because it's hard to see the immediate damage, but 25 million people going hungry because of a swarm of bugs 
is arguably more dangerous than a volcanic eruption or even an avalanche. Number 7. Lenticular Clouds Lenticular clouds get their name from their lens or saucer-like shape, which also explains their nickname, Flying Saucer Clouds. In fact, they're sometimes mistaken for UFOs. Other nicknames for lenticular clouds include cloud ships, clouds of heaven, and lennies. Lenticular clouds are stationary clouds that form at high altitudes in the sky, aligned at a right angle to the direction of the wind. This is why they often form over mountain ranges, when stable humid air blows over the top of the range. If the temperature is low enough on the downwind side of the mountains, the moisture in the air will condense into a saucer-shaped cloud, and if the conditions are right, groups of lenticular clouds can form what scientists call a wave cloud. Another unique feature of this natural phenomena is that lenticular clouds can be brightly coloured along their edges. Lenticular clouds can also form over flat land if there is a shear wind. Aeroplane pilots try to avoid flying near lenticular clouds. The waves of air that form them can cause turbulence, turning a beautiful sight into a bouncy, scary experience. However, that same reason to avoid them is the reason why people who fly gliders love them. Those same air currents allow gliders to sail to great heights and long distances. Number 6. Methane in the ice It is no secret by now that methane can be incredibly dangerous. Methane gas comes from underground and releases greenhouse gas into the atmosphere. Not only is this incredibly dangerous to our environment since it's a potent greenhouse gas, but one of the biggest extinction events in the history of the planet was caused by massive amounts of methane leaking into the atmosphere. It was called the Permian Extinction and it happened when too much methane flooded the planet, caught fire and turned Earth into a giant ball of flame, killing almost 99% of life on the planet. There is some genuine fear it could happen again. One of the biggest examples is in the Arctic, where entire lakes recently thawed due to rising global temperatures, are bubbling constantly with methane gas being released from below. One open flame in a methane stream can turn into a tower of fire. Imagine if that happened to the atmosphere. Methane bubbles form in bodies of water when dead organic matter, like leaves and animals, falls into the water and sinks to the bottom. The bacteria in the lake bed consumes the matter and releases methane. The methane then floats to the surface of the water and disperses. But what happens when sub-zero temperatures turn that lake into a skating rink? Then you get flammable ice bubbles. This is an incredible natural phenomenon that could wipe out existence as we know it, as more and more ice melts and more methane streams into the atmosphere. I don't know about you guys, but this seems pretty damn dangerous to me. Number 5. Warm Water Blob The Warm Water Blob, or the Blob for short, is partly a natural phenomena and partly human influenced. Think of the ocean as a well-controlled environment where temperatures remain the same and all life thrives in a closed circuit, essentially the circle of life. Now what happens when a giant blob of overheated water invades the controlled environment? The answer is complete disaster. The blob, which is basically a 3.5 million square mile patch of extremely warm water, has had devastating effects on the environment, including disrupting the food chain, encouraging massive growth of toxic algae and crippling marine life. Whales, birds, fish, anything that lives in or survives off the ocean has been affected by the giant temperature blob. To put it in perspective, if the average global temperature rises by only 3 degrees, we're basically all dead. This patch of warm water is 7 degrees Fahrenheit higher than it's supposed to be. So yeah, you could call the warm water blob one of nature's most deadly phenomena. It may not be immediately visible to us, but the deaths of millions of sea creatures will have a domino effect on the rest of the planet. The fear is that the blob will return bigger badder and more deadly, causing massive storm-like tsunamis and hurricanes. Number 4. Sinkholes Sinkholes are a terrifying phenomenon. Picture this, you're at home watching TV, enjoying a nice beverage, feet up on the couch and not a worry in the world. And then a giant crater opens underneath your house and swallows you into the dark abyss of the underground. Sure, that might seem a little dramatic, 
but that's exactly what a sinkhole ultimately is. A sinkhole forms when the rock underneath the ground deteriorates to such a level that the surface layer collapses in on itself, just like a mine cave-in. This is an implosion of terrifying proportions, and it's not as rare as you might think. Sinkholes can and have form under city streets, in the middle of a farmer's field, or anywhere else the rock beneath the surface has been compromised, often by groundwater. You may have heard of the cenotes in Mexico, massive holes in the ground where you can swim and dive. Well, these are sinkholes, just very old ones. But as time goes on, more and more sinkholes are opening in our modern society. Nobody knows where a massive sinkhole will appear next. Number 3. Wind and Water, Hurricanes and Tsunamis Cyclones, typhoons, hurricanes and tsunamis are some of the most intense natural phenomena that occur on our planet. And they do so on a regular basis. It's hard to find one place in the world that is not currently under threat by extreme winds and water. Every coastal city on Earth is in danger of being destroyed by the power of the wind and sea. From the devastating tsunami that wrecked Japan and caused disaster at the Fukushima nuclear reactor, to the vicious hurricanes that besiege Florida and New Orleans on an almost yearly basis, there is no stopping the forces of wind and water. Hurricanes and tsunamis are the greatest known threat to coastal cities of mankind. Waves 15 meters high, flocks of tornadoes fueled by a massive tropical cyclone, flooding and landslides, disruption of sea life and loss of homes. Hurricanes and tsunamis are unstoppable phenomena, and chances are they're going to get worse. Number 2. Volcanoes This should come as no surprise to anyone. Volcanoes are nature's most prevalent danger. Why? Because we see them all the time, towering over our cities and looming ominously on the horizon like an infernal Mount Doom. Volcanoes have proved time and time again that they are not to be taken lightly, seemingly spitting up molten hot lava whenever they feel inclined. And while some places like Italy, Hawaii and Indonesia are in constant danger of one of their volcanoes blowing sky high, did you know the rest of the world is also in incredible danger? Volcanoes literally built the earth and they can take it away too. Islands like Hawaii were built from volcanic eruptions. In fact, volcanic eruptions shaped much of our planet. But one monumental burst has the potential to shroud the Earth in total darkness. If a giant volcano were to have a historic eruption, the ash from such a mega explosion could float into the atmosphere and permeate the entire globe, creating a sheet of blackness between us and the sun. Crops would wither and die, and the Earth would grow cold. And this brings us to our final natural phenomenon. Number 1. Ice Age One of the greatest natural phenomena is the Ice Age. I'm not saying we're about to enter an Ice Age, but it is a natural part of the Earth's cycle. The last one was about 12,000 years ago, when massive sheets of ice covered all of Canada, northern United States, northern Europe, and northern Asia. The world as we know it was a giant sheet of pure ice at which time the sea level was also over 100 metres lower than it is today. This is a wild phenomenon that has to do with the changes in our planet's orbit and tilt, and they actually happen pretty frequently. For roughly the last 2.6 million years, we've been alternating between huge ice ages and short periods where the Earth is warm like it is now. Think of it like the long winter. The planet freezes for about 90,000 years, a period of time in which temperatures are drastically colder than they are now. After, there is a brief 10,000 year summer, which we have been in for, for about 2,000 years longer than normal. The phenomenon of the Ice Age is like the Earth's ultimate change of season. Tell me in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon for another fantastic video.